Now let's take some time to talk about how to use sets in the export process so you can use groups of components to export various file types rather than having to deal with using the entire model or only choosing things in the geometry browser to function that way. Now in the file dropdown, if you go to export, notice that right here at the top, you can pick whatever set you want. So for example, if you only want to use the lifting components to export as a plot3d file to go out to uh, say a CFD analysis or gridding, you can do that. You can also export all of these other formats, including an STL or for structures, cart3d, etc. All of these work, but it's only going to do these processes on the set that you've defined. Now note that you can also save a geometry set as a new open VSP model. But there's a caveat. When you export for a new open VSP model using sets, the hierarchy must be in place. So you can't simply click on the horizontal and vertical tail and export those alone. You need to have their parent component as well. So notice here this save set has the fuselage, the horizontal, and the vertical. And those are these three components. And it does that so that you export and save a new model using the placement and the hierarchy that's already in place for those components. Otherwise, that information is lost. So if we go to Save Set, and we're going to pick the Save Set that we defined again, the fuselage, horizontal, and vertical, and click OK. We're going to save it here and overwrite. Now, if we open that model, you can see that here we've got fuselage, horizontal, and vertical, and it saved it as a new isolated VSP model.